Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your first ever Roblox game in 10 minutes. Now, this is going to go through downloading Roblox Studio, installing it, logging in, and then making your first game. So, showing you how Studio works, all the basic features, how you can insert things from the toolbox that other people have made, and how you can publish your games. So, the first thing you need to do is go to roblox.com slash create, and we're going to download Roblox Studio. So, you take to this page, just click on start creating, and wait for this to finish checking and you can click download studio and then once it's downloaded you can just click on it and it'll start installing roblox and then once this is finished it'll just say configuring and then once it's made sure it's up to date it will open and now you might be prompted to log in so just log into your roblox account and then once you're logged in you should be on this page if you're not on this page you might be on any of these other ones just make sure on the left you have clicked on you and now we're here, we're just going to choose a template, so I'm just going to choose the base plate template. And it'll load us into Roblox Studio. Now, you probably won't have these windows open. So, what we're going to do is go to this view tab at the top, first of all, and make sure we have these windows open. So, we want the explorer window, we want the properties window, we want the output, if you're going to do any scripting, and we also, today, are going to want the toolbox window. So I'm just going to drag the toolbox, just make it look however I'd like. And now we can start making our game. So the first thing we need to do is have a look at the toolbox here. So hopefully you've opened this window. If you haven't, like I said, you can go to the view tab and click on the toolbox. The toolbox is a place for people to publish models for other people to use it, essentially. So you can scroll through the models. And there's lots of different models here, so loads of different things, cars, you know, swords, weapons, there are loads of different categories. If you click see all, you can see all the different categories. So if I click on ads, you see I can insert something. You can insert any of these models into your game. But one thing I should tell you is when you're inserting models into your game, one thing I recommend is not checking this include unverified creators, because what this risks is essentially someone having a virus in one of the scripts that could destroy your game. So just make sure you leave this unchecked so your models can be safe. So, what we're going to be doing in this video is just making a game, basic game, using some items from the toolbox. So, now I'm going to show you what different objects in Roblox Studio are. Currently, in this Explorer window that we've opened, we can see in the workspace, if we make sure it's open, you can see we've got this base plate, this spawn location, terrain, and camera. So these are all the things in the workspace. The workspace is everything here, everything the user can see. This is essentially just the world. So in here, if I delete this base plate, you can see it disappears. And if I press Ctrl Z, it'll come back. If I want to add something to this workspace, I can either drag it in from somewhere else, like I could drag this atmosphere in from lighting, or I could insert something called a part. Now, part is an object. So if you make sure you're on the Home tab, you can then click on this part icon, or you can click on the down arrow and choose a different type of part. You can see I have an object that's just been inserted into the game. So I can scale it, I can move it, I can select it, and I can rotate it. So that's all the different tools that you can use to change the properties of parts. But currently, you, if you go to the model tab, you can probably move however you like, then when you rotate it, it's all like this. If you want it to be more like snapping to a grid, what you can do is in the model tab, these numbers here, if you check the rotate and the move box, you can then change these numbers to be a certain increment for movement and rotation. So currently, when I move it, it is in increments of 0.25 studs, which is just the Roblox measurement, and when I'm rotating, it's in increments of 7.5 degrees. So it's again snapping to a grid. So, you can add as many of these parts as you like, you can scale them, like I said, with the scale tool, you can move them with the move tool, and you can rotate them with the rotation tool. So, you can make lots of different things, so for example, we can make a house if we just make some walls quickly. And if I just duplicate that and rotate it, you see, we've just got a box, but let's just pretend this is a house. Currently, it's a bit boring, it's just some grey boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the colour, and we're going to turn this into bricks. So, to change the colour of parts, first of all, I'm going to select them all. And then, in our properties window that we opened, you can see we've got brick colour and we've got colour. So, brick colour is just a different palette of colours that Roblox gives you. 
by default, so you can choose any of these, or you can go to the normal color selector and you can choose a random, you can choose any RGB color. So I'm just going to go into break color and change it to this one. And but now, still, this isn't very realistic, we don't have any bricks. Generally, houses are made from bricks, so we're going to change the material of these parts. So, again, in properties, you can see the material we can change from plastic to brick. So there we go, now we've got some bricks. And I think those bricks are a bit light, so I might just change the colour, brick colour to be really red so it's a bit darker. So, currently we've covered brick colour, colour and material. If I run our game, you can see that, oh, these, these parts are just falling. There's, if I put, if I drag one into the sky, it just falls out. And if I was to play the game, you can see that if I put myself in this building, and then I try and get out, I can just move the parts. Here you go, as you can see when I'm jumping, it's moving the part. But you don't want players to be able to move these parts. So there's a property, another property, called Anchored. Now what that means is, is the part going to be locked in one position? So in the Properties tab, you scroll down until you can find this Anchored one. If you check it, it'll mean that if I drag this into the air, and then run our game, it stays there, but if I then de-anchor it, they'll fall out of the sky. So, anchored is whether it's staying in the same position. So the next thing I'm going to show you is can collide. You don't have to worry about can touch for now, or can query, that's just scripting things. So what we're going to do is, in can collide, if we disable it, and then if we play the game again, you can see that if I try and run into this wall, I just go straight through, because you can't collide. That's why it's called can collide. If it's true, then you collide with things, and if it's not, then you can't collide with them. So I think that one's fairly simple. Uh, I think I've covered most of the important things in the properties tab. Now we can get to making our game. So if you just delete everything you've made so far, I'm also going to delete this base plate. So now I'm just going to insert a part. I'm just going to make a, some ground. So if I go to my scale tab and I scale it to make it nice and big, I'm just going to make it, oh, let's see, dark green, and I'm going to change the material to grass. And then I'm just going to make sure it's anchored. And in fact, I'm just going to set the size to 2000, or zero, uh, 1, 2000 to make it sure it's very, very big. And now I am going to just make this toolbox bigger. I'm just going to put it to cover the entire properties. And now we start inserting things from this toolbox. Now generally, when you get further into game development, you probably won't be using this toolbox, as it can be looked down on. But when you're first getting started, I think it's alright to use the toolbox. So what you can do is just insert some things from the toolbox. So here we go, I've got a road. So you can make roads. And there we go, just make a road. And so you can just insert anything from the toolbox you'd like. And just make... Again, quickly, just make a nice map. So I'm going to insert a house. So let's see, I can insert a classic house. So if I just make a nice street here, so one house, then I'm going to duplicate it with Control D, and then I'm going to make another house, duplicate it again with Control D, make another house, duplicate it with Control D, and there we go. Now we've got four houses on this side of the road. What I'm going to do is select them all, so Control and click on each. To add it to the selection, then I'm going to duplicate them again with Control D. I'm going to move them over to the other side of the road, and then I'm going to rotate them around 180 degrees, so they are opposites. And there we go. Now we've got a road with some houses on. This is all I'm going to do in this game. There's loads of other things you could do, but I think that's all I'm going to do for now, just for the purpose of this video. But now you've made your game. Currently, it, nobody can play it because it's not public. So, what I'm going to show you now is how to make your game public so people can play it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to these game settings here at the top. And then you're just going to click save to Roblox. And now we're going to be uploading your game to Roblox. So first of all you need to give it a name, so I'll just call it My Cool Game. And then you can give it a description if you want, so I'll just say this is my first game. And then you can change your creator to, if you have a group, you can put it under the group. But if you don't, you can just leave it as me. And then I'm going to turn off Team Create because it's just me making this game. Team Create is for when you are play, uh, making a game with other people. And then you can choose which devices you want your game to be available on. 
and then you can just go and click save. So now your game will be saved to Roblox. Currently, nobody can access it still because it's just saved. So you need to first of all publish it. So how you can publish your game is in the top left, click on file, and then you can click publish to Roblox. So it will then publish your game to Roblox. And there you go, it says publish changes. So now I'm just going to make sure that anyone can play the game. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to click game settings again. I'm going to go down to permissions and I'm going to, under playability, change it to whoever I want to play this game. If you just want your friends to be able to play it, you can change it to friends. Or if you want anyone to be able to play it, you can change it to public. So I'm just going to change it to public and then I'm going to click save. And now we're going to find our game on the website so we can play it. So you should just go to the Roblox website. And then once you're here, if you go to the create tab, and then hopefully you should be here. If you're on this page though, just click manage my experiences and it should take you here. And then once you're here, you can see your new game here, right at the top of experiences. If you put it under group, you'll find it in group creations. But here, you can click on the start place where it says start place, just click on that and it'll take you to your games page. And then once this loads, you can just join your game on Roblox. So if you just click the play button and then click open, when our game loads, you'll be able to see that this is the game we just made. So there you go, you just made your first Roblox game. I know it might seem very simple, but there's loads of other stuff to learn. And this is a pretty good place to start. So you can, again, make your game. You can insert anything you like from the toolbox. Uh, just please try and make sure that you're not inserting viruses. And yeah, you can make pretty much anything using the toolbox. But if you decide that you want to get better at Roblox development, I have an entire series. Or I just have loads of videos on my channel teaching you how to script lots of different things. Uh, so you start coding your own Roblox games. But anyway, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.